record. All right, welcome everybody. My name is Megan Lynch. For those of you guys who don't know, Monday through Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do a training session. Um, today is Thursday, so I'm going to be flying out at like six o'clock in the morning to go to Houston. So I will have my sister jump in in the morning and she's going to tomorrow morning and she will do the training probably on um, Friday and on Saturday. So she's going to be talking about the hyper launch because I believe the hyper launch is one of the most important things to get your business off the ground, right? In your first day, there's no reason why you shouldn't sign up three people if you are really truly following the system to a T, right? Um, I did a call yesterday with a group of people. I think I might have been a little harsh. <laughs> um, a harsh with love though, because there were 40 people on there and I was doing a team huddle. And when I do a team huddle with you guys, if I do a team huddle with your team, I'm getting down to the, to the why are you guys not ranking up? And I'm gonna ask those hard questions. And usually it's because people are not following the simple system. They're trying to do things outside of the system first. And I'm not saying you guys can't do funnels and all that stuff, but understand that if I'm telling you that my partner made $48 million, if I'm telling you that the minute that I gave in to the system that he had, I went from $0 to $10,000 in another company. And then in 2018, 2019, I made money in all my companies, right? When last year, when I got into my first, uh, when I launched into my business last year, I made um, $753 my first week. And then in my next week in that business, I made 1200. And then in my next week in that, I made 2200. Um, and that was because that was the first time I decided to fully follow the system. So when I came into Tradera, I already knew what to do. I, it, I didn't second guess it. I already knew what to do. And I have not deviated from that system, not even a little bit. I don't even have time to do all the extra stuff because if you launch your business the right way, you won't have time to do the extra stuff either. You'll be way too busy teaching your team the basics, okay? And we're gonna talk about that. I want you guys to understand, I think we have, Rico, how many days do we have? Is it 56? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we have 56 days, guys, and counting. 56 days uh, to get it done. Whatever done means to you, right? Done to me meant R-I-C-H, <laughs> done. Because when I looked at this comp plan and I noticed that you only needed 5,000 people to hit $100,000 a month, I do simple math. And I knew that three uh, duplicated nine times would get me to 100,000 a month. So all I had to do was be consistent for at least nine straight weeks. And I had to help my three get their three, help those nine get their three, help those 27 get their three, help those 81 get their three, help those 200 and I think it's 73 or something like that get their three. That's all I had to do is I had to teach my team the basics and not let them get distracted by other stuff. And ladies and gentlemen, listen, it was challenging because we didn't have one day in Tradera that we could sign somebody up without them getting stuck in the holding tank, without them disappearing from the system, without the system locking up. Like we didn't have one day, guys, not one day when I signed up. Every single day was like hell week. I'm just gonna be honest. I was, was very stressful. And I had, to, I had to keep my team positive, right? I had to let my team know, listen, if you get into a ground floor opportunity, expect ground floor problems. And if you can't handle it, quit. <laughs> That's what I told my team, because I wasn't gonna be in the business of picking them up off the floor every day because they were emotional. So some people say all the time, Dr. PK, Rico and Sheila, because you guys were with us in March, people always say, man, I wish I would have been with you guys in the beginning. No, you don't, because you probably wouldn't have been able to handle it. <laughs> you would have. Amen, quit. amen. They would, uh, many. Uh, well, it proved, that proved to be so, Megan, because they left. They couldn't handle it. When we got the last blow that looked like it was going to knock our socks off, <laughs> they, the folk left. That's when they left. And now look at where we are today, because we stayed. And some of us stayed hanging on by our fingernails, but stayed, yet we did. Don't you wish you were here back then? Because you probably could not have taken it. 
you took tail and ran. You had a good time. Get to work. Just get to work. <laughs> right. Now I'm looking at people now and when they come in, you guys, and this is the great thing. We were in formulation stage and we're still kind of in formulation stage, but literally I get on the, we got on the call with the owners last week and we were all myself and the leaders because it's, it's king and queen and above on that call. And we were literally sitting on the call, like twiddling our thumbs. Usually it was like, we need this. What's going on with this? Blah, blah, blah. We were about to beat each other up a couple months ago. Right. Not really, but it felt like it some days it was tough. And now we get on with the owners and we're on there just laughing and chopping it up because we really don't have anything to, to say. We might have some minor glitches here and there, but nothing that we can't handle. So I want you guys to understand that it is time for us to get to work. Things are easy now. Our great, great grandkids, Dr. PK, have it easy. <laughs> Our, when we were growing up, right, we have that story. When we were growing up in Tradera, we were walking to school in 15 feet of snow. That's what it felt like right? Now the path is cleared for you guys. You just got to be willing to follow it. So when I was on with that group last night, I kind of had to just punch them in the stomach. Like if you're not ranking up, tell me what you're, what, what number you're on. And everybody tells me, I'm like, did you make a list of 50 to hundred people? Well, no, but stop right there then. So then if you want what I have, then do what I do. And that's what I had to tell them. So it was kind of, I told them, you know, it was my first time meeting them, but I'm like, follow the system. It's there for a reason. Remember guys, I'm doing a sign up challenge right now. So Monday, November the 3rd to Sunday, November the 8th, every three people you sign up, um, you'll be able to be entered into a, a, a drawing. So I, I give away stuff as much as I possibly can. And I'll give you guys all the details on where you snapshot and email me your signups. All you guys got to do is put your head down and sign people up. Shout out to Larissa, who my student. Um, shout out to Alex Snyder, one of my students. Um, he's 24 now, but all my students are starting to reach out to me and they came aboard. So um, Larissa came aboard and she, all I did, I told Larissa, I said, go get me your top five to 10 people and put them on a three-way call with me. That's it. Guess what she did? She put me on a three-way call with 10 people, like three different three ways. And she had four on one call, right? Three on one call, two on another call, or something like that. My math is a little off. And Larissa just basically let them know, listen, this is what we're doing. It's 99 bucks to get in. And um, she signed up. She went founder in less than 24 hours. And then now her people are already doing three ways and they're about to go founder today. And they just signed up last night. It's that simple though. And then guess what? I'm already three levels deep in her, four levels deep in her organization. Alex just signed up. Last night, Alex called me on the phone. He's 24, one of my students got on the phone with me last night and he was like, okay, what do you do? I said, get on the call and then I'm gonna follow up with you right after. Alex put Jacob on the call, one of his friends. I didn't tell him to, he just did it. So then Alex signed up last night and Jacob signed up. And we went through the system um, last night for an hour and I drew it out for them. And I'm like, you need to do this, this, and this to get to 500 a month. So let's get to this money. I don't want to do a song and dance for people. You guys, if you're doing a song and dance to your people, that's probably why they're not signing up. I don't do it. And I don't sign up everybody. I had a guy call me the other day like, well, Megan, I want to sign up, but you know, I'm not really looking to do that much work. I'm like, well, call me where you, when you're ready to grind it out with me. Like, don't be calling me and I'm at a hundred thousand a month and you're telling me that you want to make money. And then you tell me you don't want to do any work. Goodbye. I'll sign up Alex. <laughs> I'll sign up Larissa. I don't have, I'll sign up Brianna who's on here. I don't have time to be working with people from the jump who tell me they don't want to work <laughs> next. Right. You ain't even about to get on my nerves. So you guys have to understand that it's not arrogance from me. It's not arrogance at all. It's just that, guys, we got to value our time and we have to value what we have in Tradera. It's a $99 flip, right? It's 99 bucks and you get all this value, right? You get to hang out with millionaires. They owe $99 just to hang out with uh, Derek Conway, just to hang out with Oscar, just to hang out on a call with me every day. You owe me $99 for mentoring you for 20, for 30 straight days. But if you guys start to feel that into your spirit, 
I'm not saying that you're going to be rude to people, but I also talk to people who say, well, nobody wants to join. And I'm like, check your vibration then, because you may not be um, edifying our opportunity the way that you should edify it. You may not be edifying the people that are inside. Dr. PK is over here and she's had some trials and tribulations and she shows up every day. It was her brother's funeral a couple of days ago and she was still in training. And then I have people who say, oh man, I can't make training because I got a hangnail. <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> I want you guys to understand, listen, you cannot excuse your way to a million dollars. You got to grind your way to it. You're not going to excuse your way out of the situation that you're in. You, you got to get out of it, right? I did not have the luxury, and I don't say this to brag and boast, I wanna show you guys something. I didn't have the luxury of waiting, I'm a single parent. If I don't take care of my kids, nobody will. So I have a lot of hustle inside of me, I have a lot of hunger. I'm patient though too, patient is, patience is power. And patience doesn't mean that I'm sitting around and, and waiting for things to come. Patience means that if I don't get there today, I'm not going to quit the business, right? I'm not, my vibration's not going to change because somebody says, boo, like, no, I don't want to do your business. Great. The faster I get to know with people, the quicker I can get to yes. I want you guys to assess like who's on your team. And I'm not just talking about who's on your Tradera team. Who is on your team right now in life? And if you don't have anybody who's on in your corner, if you don't have anybody who talks about their goals and their visions and they want to collaborate and they want to do more, then you need to get some new people around you. And guess what? If you're on this call, you got us, right? Who cares if you're your mom or your dad or what your cousin or aunt or uncle didn't do for you, right? That's what I had to tell my son. He's 18. His dad is not in his life, right? But you know what I told my son? nobody's going to care. I don't want you to be 30 years old talking about what your parents didn't do for you. At that point, nobody cares, <laughs> right? It's a sad story, but you better figure it out. And, you, and I told him, you're not an adult until you're accountable, productive, and responsible. So it's time for you to get it together. Be the man that you wish you had in your life because you, it, a lot of people will sit around and kind of pacify their kids and feel sorry for them. That's going to do nothing for my kids right now. I have to have real talk with my kids. That's why I can send my 13-year-old to the grocery store. I'll sit in the car and she'll come out with everything she needs, organic eggs. She'll have, I mean, she shops like a pro. I hate going to the grocery store. And she doesn't like to go to the grocery store with me because I'm on the phone and I talk too loud. <laughs> so she won't go into the grocery store if I'm on the phone. So I'm like, get in there and go get the stuff that you need because I'm working right now. <laughs> and sometimes it just has to be like that. So I want you guys to understand, remember, that I want you guys to be equally, don't be yoking up, right? In the Bible, it says, do not be unequally yoked. And I never knew what that meant until I looked at it, right? The yoke is what goes in your mouth. And if you yoke up a donkey and an ox, you're going to be dragging that donkey's ass all day. Sorry, Dr. PK, but it's it's not that one. It's the other one. She's going to get mad at me. But then I taught this lesson in my class. And I was telling my students in high school, do not yoke up with people who don't, who will not pull their weight. They will drive you insane. You're going to be dragging them and dragging them and pleading with them and begging with them. You better break that yoke and go yoke up with an ox, right? Go yoke up with somebody who's more like you. Do not yoke up with a donkey. And, and some of you guys got some donkeys in your business right now. Please, you don't have to tell them. They already know, <laughs> right? So you know what you need to do? We can turn a donkey into an ox sometimes. But the only way that you're going to turn them into an ox is you're going to have to just break off from them. And you're going to have to go move as fast as you can. An ox can pull a lot of weight. An ox can actually move really fast if it needs to. A donkey is going to take its time. It's going to chew on the grass. It's going to just, you know, think it has all freaking day. Put a, a weight on the donkey's back and it might carry it for a little bit and then it just might collapse on you. So what you guys need to do is you need to assess your team. 
Make sure that this is not you and the person you've hooked up with, whether in life, guys, I'm talking to my young people. <laughs> I'm talking to my seasoned folks too. Make sure that you are yoked up with somebody who is more like you. And if you're the donkey, <laughs> then change. You can still change, right? You can change, but you're gonna have to make some changes, right, in your life. So I want you guys to understand that network marketing is a personal development program with a compensation plan attached. That's it. That's why people sometimes don't make it in network marketing because you have to work on yourself and some people are unwilling to do that, right? Network marketing is a mirror. It'll show you yourself. It'll show you your vibration. It'll show you your, your network of people you've been around. I was around a whole bunch of teachers, no knock on my teachers, but none of them wanted to do anything but teach and complain about the kids and the administration and their income. But then when I would bring them an opportunity, they wouldn't say anything. I'm about to get onto my principal right now. I've been talking about him too, because he has 3000 people in his leg one and he still hasn't launched his business yet. <laughs> and I'm about to give him the, the hard talk. Like you call me when you're ready. Cause I'm not about to waste my time on anybody. You got 3000 people in your leg one and you haven't launched your business yet. That's a problem, right? So I want you guys to understand that it's okay for you to break apart. It's okay for you to break the yoke, right? To break it and to go find some other people to link up with. If you're an ox, don't team up with the donkey. Team up with another ox, okay? And if you don't have any oxen in your life, then change your vibration. And the more that you start speaking positivity, the more it's gonna come back to you. The more you speak about what you don't have and what you don't want, you're going to get more of it. I promise you guys. The only reason why I have the, all of you guys in my life, the Novembers, the Sheilas, the Dr. PKs, I spoke them into existence. The Ricos, my twin sister, I spoke them into existence because I talk about the things that I want in life, right? I want you guys to understand that leadership is about um, you leading, not managing, right? Lead, don't manage. Because the minute that you have to manage, you're going to start to get frustrated about your people. So how do you lead? All you got to do is follow the system and do what you do every single day. One thing though, you guys got to know why you do what you do. All of you guys know that my heart breaks every single time that I hear about one of my students dying in the streets, right? Because I look at Larissa right now and she's 22, I think, right? And I look at... Um, Alex, and Alex is amazing. Um, Alex lost his father when he was in high school. So him and I got really close when he was in high school. And, you know, I was just there to listen to my students. They were going through a lot. And he has grown up to be an amazing young man. He's 24. I think about my students that I lost. What would they have been like if they would have made it to 24, right? Donovan died at uh, 18. Um, Kayla died uh, at I think Kayla was 17, died at 17. Greg died at 17, right? So I wonder what it would have been like if my students would have made it just a little bit longer, right? So I do want you guys to understand, uh, don't forget to mute your phones, guys. I want you guys to read a book for me and then I'm gonna show you something and I want, I want some participation real quick. Read this book. I talk about it all the time, guys. Um, this book is called The Shark and the Goldfish. I read it to my students. The Shark and the Goldfish, I'm going to keep talking about it. Read it. It's a, it's a short book with like 50 pages or something. You'll probably read it in a day. It's a fable by John Gordon. John Gordon's books are pretty amazing. But there's this line that I always talk to you guys about. It, there's, I do everything intentionally. So when you guys log into uh, the website, log into webinar.now or webinarnow.info, the password is shark on purpose. And I had a person say, well, the person is kind of, they don't really like that you have shark as the password. It sounds really negative. I, and I, I sent them the book. I'm like, read the book, <laughs> right? Stop being moved by everything and like get knowledgeable. I'm like the shark and the goldfish, because in this book, uh, there's a line in there. And this is what it says in the book. It says every day you have to choose whether you are going to be a shark or a goldfish, whether you're going to wait to be fed or whether you are going to go find food. Each day you make this choice with your beliefs. I can't see, sorry, let me move this over. You make this choice with your beliefs, with your thoughts, 
with your actions. Some days, guys, I don't feel like doing calls, <laughs> right? But I do it anyway. And then once I do it, I'm like, I get into it, right? So the choice is yours. What do you want to be, a shark or a goldfish, right? We don't want to be sitting around waiting for somebody to feed us. We want to make sure that we're finding food. And now's the time to do it. And you might have to talk to 100 people to get three people because your network of people is crappy. I'm going to say it, right? My network of people was crappy. I had to be honest with myself. I'm like, my network sucks. <laughs> it's terrible. Everybody's broke. Everybody complains. Everybody is waiting around for somebody else to help them, right? And that's what I had to realize. And the minute that I realized it, I was like, well, what does that say about me? <laughs> if I hang around with these people any longer, what does it say about me, right? So as she, I know it gets frustrating, but you can't get frustrated. Guess what? Go into the chat and you tell me, guys. You can't get frustrated. What do you have to do? If you realize your network is crappy, tell me what you need to do. Go into the chat. You guys tell me. Get a new network. How do you get a new network of people? You can't be sitting in the house. I know it's the pandemic, but you can't just be sitting in the house, right? You might have to join a couple groups on social media. You may have to start making some positive videos. Be the change that you want to see, that you want to be, right? I think Gandhi said that. Stop waiting for, stop waiting for your friends to change, right? If you can't change the people you're around, change the people that you're around. Get around some different folks. If you guys are not uh, five, if you're five hours from uh, Houston, then you should be at the convention. You should be getting in your car and driving to the convention. If you don't have money for a hotel, then if you wanted it bad enough, you do like Tyler Perry and you probably sleep in your car, right? And trust and believe somebody, we got hotel rooms. Somebody will let you shower. <laughs> Y'all better make some friends. I didn't have any money when I went to my first convention. None. I had to scrape up money and I had to ride in a, in a car with 14 young people who smoked the whole time. I felt like I had the biggest contact. I'm like, this is ridiculous. I won't be doing this again, but I'm glad that I went <laughs> because I met so many great people, right? With my contact buzz <laughs> that I had. I'm like, I'm not, I'm driving myself. I'm gonna have money for a ticket next time. I know it was terrible, but I'm glad that I went. It was my first convention and I didn't have any money. And Reagan and I went to the convention and that's how we got there. 14 hours to New Orleans. <laughs> So I want you guys to understand that right now it's about you guys following the system. You have a warm market, you have their referrals, you have a cold market, you have an internet market. Dump them all in and you gotta qualify them, right? When you guys qualify these people, remember that your cold market, they don't know you. So what, what do you need to do on social media to get a new network? You need to start actually, <laughs> Kiana, <laughs> that's funny. I know it's the truth though, I've been through it guys. I didn't just get here overnight. It, it's been a, a work in progress. So I want you guys, um, if you want to promote on social media, this is how I got Alex to join me. This is how Larissa found me, right? I just post stuff. I don't ask people to join my business, but Larissa said, I've been watching you, Miss Lynch, for the last couple months. And finally, I think the pizza box got her with $4,500 in it for my boyfriend. I think that got her right there. I knew it would because I, I post things intentionally on purpose, right? And I post other people's success because I want people uh, to understand that I'm surrounded by greatness. Dr. PK is amazing. Kiana, I posted Kiana stuff. She is amazing, right? I'm posting my network of people because I want people to know I hang out with winners. And if you wanna hang out with me, you're gonna have to elevate yourself, <laughs> right? So I want you guys to understand that when you start marketing, do not give up, guys. These people need us. If they don't see it, next, right? Don't get your feelings hurt if somebody says no. If you call 100 people, expect 80 of them to say no. 20 of them might get on. Out of 20, get three, right? By any means necessary. In your first seven days, you should not be sleeping. Some of you guys sleep like you're rich right? And I, this is a quote, so I didn't make it up. But seriously, if I, if you're asleep, right? And you're broke, something's wrong. Because Kanye West was awake for a straight week. 
grinding it out in Jay-Z's studio, right? Watch it. It's, it's on Driven. Type it in. This, I love Ke um, Kanye West's story. He wanted to be a musician. He dropped out of um, college, right? His mom was a professor, dropped out of college, moved, started working for Jay-Z. Jay-Z would not put him on. He's like, no, you make beats, stay in your lane. But Kanye West wanted to be an artist. So when Jay-Z and the whole crew, all the rappers left, Kanye West was using Jay-Z's equipment and making music. He stayed up so long, guys, he didn't sleep. He got in his car and got into an accident and broke his jaw and they wired his jaw shut. And he wrote the song through the wire, right? Through the wire of his jaws, right? And that took him to the top. What are you willing to do to get to the top though? Because some of you guys are, are sleeping really good. Some of you guys are really chilling, right? And I'm over here sleeping on the couch <laughs> in my three bedroom apartment, making 100,000 a month, right? I'm gonna get a house, I'm gonna go and get stuff, but right now, I don't have time. I bought myself a car, you guys know that, with cash. Bought myself a Camaro, because I always wanted it. We're gonna talk about that. But I don't live like I'm making 100,000 a month right now, because that was never the point. I want to be a legend maker. So I got stuff to do. I can't get comfortable. Some people are just way too comfortable. And that's why we're not hitting these ranks. I need you guys to qualify your prospects and you got to edify. Do not put me on the phone with somebody and you don't tell them while I'm listening that she makes a hundred thousand a month. She's helping everybody, right? You got to edify me, not because I'm me, but because that's the system. And then I will edify you back to them because they need to respect the fact that we even took the time to get on the phone with them. You guys got to know our system, right? You got to understand the, the industry. And many people are not successful in network marketing because you think it's just a hobby. This is serious business over here. So you got to come in. Um, I'm actually getting ready to put together a. Um, whole entire curriculum called Network Marketing 101 that I'm gonna post on Udemy and charge people 10 bucks <laughs> on Udemy. This is where I was, what I was gonna do before, but on Udemy, there's teachers on there that charge people $10 to teach them how to paint. And they have 500,000 students paying $10, right, one time. So people need to learn network marketing because it's a skill set. you gotta learn it. So <laughs> thank you for paying your $10 in advance. But definitely I see a need right now, but we got to edify our people. And then we got to invite people to a live presentation. And then guess what we got to do? We got to follow up immediately with our people. Once we follow up and collect our yeses, nos, and maybes, enroll excited people, you guys got to train them. You got to put in the work. I was awake until three o'clock this morning. And then I just brought in a new Africa team and they keep waking me up at five in the morning. We don't have to have a talk, <laughs> right? I just went to bed two hours ago. I'm like, if you do not stop texting me at five o'clock in the morning, <laughs> I'm not awake. So I want you guys um, to train your people, okay? And once you train them, you got to launch their business immediately. Launch them and focus on the new people. And then guess what? Repeat it over and over and over again. That's all we do. <laughs> over and over and over again. This is how we produce positive cash flow, okay? This is how we produce positive cash flow is we launch businesses, that's it. You gotta get people's business off the ground as quickly as you possibly can. We have to do income producing activity. It's your job to build your empire, nobody else's, right? But if you build it right, you guys will build as a team. We have, um, oh, that ain't right, sorry. Let me delete that. Start with three, right? And then duplicate guys as fast as you possibly can. Pretend like there's three people in here. You guys have seen this before. Uh, if you guys want to get to five, who wants to get to 5,000 a month in the next 50 days? Go into the chat and tell me, tell me that you want to hit 5,000 a month because it's not hard. <laughs> you can do it in, let me show you. You could do it in um, right here. You could one, two, three, four. You could do it in five weeks but commit for five weeks of not sleeping. <laughs> commit to five weeks of this week, bring in three new people. And then guess what? All next week, 
commit every single day to helping your three people get their three. I don't care if you got to do 35 uh, three-way calls. I did 35 three-way calls, guys, with one lady, one person, 35 in one freaking day, one person. She signed up eight people out of the 35. You know what we did with those 35 people? We had them back to back to back watching the video. Okay, you got five minutes? Okay, watch this video. We got other people to call. We'll call you right back. Okay, bye. Answer the phone when we call you too. Click, call the next person. Hey, listen, John, you looking to make some money? Okay, you got five minutes? Can you watch this video real quick? All right, in this video, the lady talking, she makes 100,000 a month. Pay attention, take notes. It's a educational platform. We teach Forex. It's 99 bucks. You can get it for free, but more importantly, they'll pay us 500 to a million a month. Are you down? Watch the video. I'm going to call you right back. I got some other people to call. Click, hang up, call the next person. Why aren't you guys doing that? I don't understand. That's how you do network marketing in the very beginning. Run your list as fast as you possibly can. Get 10 people watching the five minute video and then turn back around, circle back around and call every single one of them and follow up. Did you watch the video? Okay, hold on. You got two minutes. Let me get Deanna, right? This is my partner, Deanna. She knocked out Bishop 2000 a month in record time. She's got amazing people in her organization. She'll be able to answer all your questions and then mute your phone. Hang up with that person, call the next person, call the next person, call the next person, right? Where's the 10 minute video? I have a five minute video now. It's on my YouTube channel. So guys, if you duplicate four, one, two, three, four, five times, you're at 5,000 a month. Get your three, help them get their three, help them get their three, help them get their three. Boom. You're already at 2,000 a month at that point. And then you're right around the corner from 5,000 a month. So you guys, you gotta, you gotta have some consistency. You can't be sporadically like, you don't have time. You don't have the luxury, some of you guys, to be chilling. You don't have the luxury to be relaxing and sleeping, right? Some of you guys, I promise you, if you did this business with some intensity, you would already be at the next rank. Here's what I want you guys to write down real quick. Go into the chat. And if you're already at this rank, it's okay. I want you guys to write down, hold on, let me find it. Um, I want you guys to, to throw into the chat because you got to reward yourself, right? Every time you guys hit a rank, buy yourself something. It doesn't have to be a new car, right? Don't be frivolous. But every time you hit a rank, you have to do something for yourself to reward yourself, okay? So let me show you this real quick. So you guys go into the chat and write this down real quick because this is what I did. Every time I hit a milestone, um, I, I got myself something like small or I got something for somebody else too because I like to buy things for other people. It makes me happy because <laughs> I could never do it before. So um, I like the fact that I, Reagan doesn't need it because she makes money anyway, but I like the fact that I shot my sister um, $1,000 and my, uh, my, my brother $1,000 and my mom $1,000 and I'm getting my mom's house painted and none of these things are for people to say pat me on the back right i'm doing it because i can and it feels so very good to be able to do it because before i couldn't do anything right <laughs> except make them a gift I, I got really good at making gifts <laughs> you you got some really good do-it-yourself gifts for me right it's the thought that counts now i could just like give them what i need right or give them what i feel like they they need so go into the chat real quick. When you guys hit night, $500 a month, go into the chat and write it down. What are you going to buy yourself? Okay. Put it in the chat real quick. When you guys, so night is 442. You got to get your three, help them get their three. You guys could do that today if you wanted. Honestly, if you guys put me on the phone or put somebody else on the phone on a three-way with 10 people, you're probably going to sign up three. And then take those three and by tomorrow, do the same thing with them promise you guys, you would hit night overnight, right? So $500 extra a month, right? When you guys hit noble, right? And now you're bringing in an extra $250 a month, reward yourself. What are you going to buy? Because you got to attach something to it. You have to attach something to the rank, right? 
everybody was trying to get me, well, not everybody, but my boyfriend was trying to get me to get a new car before I hit legend. And I'm like, nope, not. <laughs> I'm very frugal. I wasn't going to do it. I wanted to hit legend. I was holding my feet to the fire before I bought a new car. Okay. When you guys hit Bishop, what are you going to buy yourself? Or where are you going? You're getting a massage. You're now at $500 extra a week. What are you getting? My son got a new apartment, right? I'm like, goodbye. He lives in the same apartment complex that I live in. So he's actually, I could see his apartment from where I am right now. So he's not too far away, but <laughs> far enough away for us to get along really, really well. <laughs> so Dev went out and got a new apartment, right? When you guys get to 5,000 a month, this starts to get real, okay? What are you gonna buy yourself? You're now making an extra $1,250 a week. You don't even have to quit your job yet if you don't want, okay? So what are you guys gonna buy yourself at this point? Okay, donations, good, four-wheeler, yep. Because every single week, I want you guys to imagine every Monday, like clockwork, $1,250 is going into your account every week, okay? At this point, where, when you get to Prince and Princess, you're at an extra $2,500 every single week. What are you buying yourself at this point, right? And you might let the one $2,500 hit and then make sure you, you, know, you solidify that rank. And then what are you buying at this point? Because now you're making $10,000 a month. And every Monday, like clockwork, you're getting $2,500, okay? Another rental home audio system, a new roof, give my mom $5,000, hotel staycation. Can you guys, do you feel it though, guys? This is a reality though. I promise you it's a reality, but you have to attach something to it. When you guys get to, um, Dev bought a, a Hemi Challenger, right? That's because <laughs> he can afford the insurance on it now, right? When he was at 2000 a month, he was trying to get a Hemi Challenger and I'm like, no. I'm still the mom, right? No, you're not getting that because I'm not helping you pay for it. I have the money, but I want him to know what it feels like to buy his own stuff and pay for his own stuff, right? With his own money. Not that I don't buy my kids stuff, but they got to <laughs> do a little work. King and queen guys, at this point, what are you buying yourself? You just got $5,000 on Monday, but guys, it's already Thursday. It's about to be Monday again. So you're about to get another $5,000 again. What are you buying? Okay. This is where you really have to think about it because it starts to get really hard at this point <laughs> to be spending your money quickly, right? And remember, out, we were knocking out ranks left and right. Um, shout out to my partner, Devon. He's 25. He hit a king in 28 days. 28 days, right? 20,000 a month. Some of you guys have emperor and empress legs. This is when it just gets ridiculous at this point, right? $12,500 a week. Buy yourself something, right? You got 12 bands, <laughs> $12,500. You're going to get another $12,000 next week anyway, right? What are you going to buy yourself? A new home. I'm looking in the chat. Um, good deal. You're buying your wife a new car, buying some land, new car for your kids, a new home. Guys, do you understand that Oscar came over here and hit Emperor in, he came over in April and he hit Emperor really, really quickly. He was driving Uber. He's 28. Oscar was driving Uber and then he came over here. Dominique was working at McDonald's and then she came over here, right? So I want you guys to understand that this is when it gets real, 25,000 a week. What are you going to buy yourself at 25,000 a week? This is when it's kind of, I'm just going to be honest with you because I'm going to show you guys something. It's really hard. I can't even get my, I'm going to stop recording. This is not me bragging and boasting. This is me like, I need you guys 